Yeah, in my last video I demonstrated a Python GPIO PWM fail and just to show you uh, what exactly the fail is um, I'm going to show it you, to you um, This is the Python code that shall drive my tea brewing machine you see as soon as there is CPU load uh, it's really unstable And during boot time, I can with with cold cache, I can really, uh, yeah, do things like this, and yeah. Now I will show you a little trick how to do it a lot more stable. I'm using this task set command, and you see. The movement is stable, much more stable. And why is it the case? I can show you in HTOP. We have this CPU4 always running with a load of 0%. And why is it the case? Well, I have um, set an option in the boot command line. Um, this ISO CPU equals 3 and now I can tell Python to use this third core which is isolated so no other system tasks are running on it um, and I can use this one core of the quad core Raspberry Pi 3 completely for servo control now Let's take a look at the Python code. Um, I'm setting up this uh, GPIO PWM uh, port and I have a function position which changes the duty cycle to the correct uh, duty cycle for the servo position and now I'm having this code for my t brewing machine. Uh, maybe I'll put the link in the video description which drives the arm up, then waits some 3 seconds. Um, for a gray tea you need 60 seconds, but uh, for demonstration purposes I use 3 seconds. And then positioning, uh, I'm posi uh, putting the arm up again. It's kind of the wrong way around. Uh, if you really want to see how the tea brewing machine is working, uh, I should use the old PHP code. Um, now, what is my suggestion to the uh, GPIO API implementers? Um, I think um, people who are using um, PWM for controlling servo motors um, are uh, yeah do want really stable results so the problem is that even with this stable uh, yeah, so at first they have to set this of course ISO CPUs to to a CPU core and then uh, I think task set is not the right solution for Python because you have a main thread, you have some other threads when you do like for instance a robot control. So I think um, it should there should be another yeah like p dot isolate isolate to CPU 
3. So that only the PWM thread is running on this CPU and the main thread is uh, then staying on these other cores. I think that would be the best solution for the API implementers. Uh, so if you want a more stable PWM results, introduce this function. And if you want to have stable results, add, add the ISO CPUs into your boot command line. And after this, tell Python to which CPU the PWM controlling fan should be bound. That's it for today. Thanks and bye bye.